tale that found itself in the centre of a real-life drama. Kiko captured the hearts of millions of children who all wanted to free Willy. Yeah, look at you. It's about a whale who's been removed from his family and he's in captivity, and a little boy, a street kid, who uh, befriends this whale and uh, together they form this very close relationship. Looks like Willy's got himself a soul, man. quite extraordinary. They are very intuitive. For instance, if we wanted the whale to hit a particular mark, the trainer would tap a little wooden float on the side of the pool like that, and the whale wouldn't stop there, or he wouldn't stop there, he would stop exactly there. I mean, amazing instincts. kid has to essentially mount a jailbreak to save his whale buddy from being killed, there's almost nothing at that point that the movie can do not to enthrall you. The guards killed Willie! Wait, was one of them? Yeah, they dropped it! It's part of the tank. Dial trying to collect the insurance money. Willie's worth a million dollars. A million dollars? From the moment that this little kid says, we've got to free Willie, the movie is on rails. What? Let's free Willie. That is just so emotionally powerful that it turns you into a five-year-old. The leap over the harbor breakwater was the emotional climax. They actually built a whale on a sort of rocket launcher under the water, and he was fired out till his nose was about this far out of the water. And from that moment on, CGI took over, and then there's a shot where we had the whale flying from the crane, a big full-size animatronic one that the boy is underneath, and then CGI back into the water. It's quite a complex sequence. Thanks to the success of the show, we paid attention to the real subject, the real star, who was still in jail in Mexico City. to Oregon where a special tank was built. He learned to catch fish, which he had never done before. And ultimately on the 7th of July, 2003, Keiko said, I'm ready guys, and he took off. Free Willy was free.